because they still believe it was done by armed robbers. So if this is now, I mean, if this is what they do now, so I would probably, I, I don't know, like I would probably suggest that uh, indeed, everyone who is running a business that they have to kind of uh, use the road and travel the road and all of that, should be allowed to carry their own arms to defend themselves. You know? Because if the uh, armed robbers are now going to be setting ablaze a multi-million era bosses like that, including everything they're in, now that boss, you can tell the value of the boss. Or can you actually tell the value of uh, the uh, personal belong belongings or goods? There are some of them who are traders, right? And all of that. Well, Hmm? So you will never be able to know what uh, cost or at I mean what's, what the lost really cost or the cost of the loss, right? You won't, and they will continue to happen and continue to happen because those who are supposed to actually keep us all safe, they are busy with something else, and that is to further keep us on safe. Unfortunately. Hmm? So uh, that was that, and also yesterday, I'll tell you this one. This one is also an interesting one, okay? Uh, what happened? Remember that uh, the Senegalese have now gotten their own uh, new young president, okay? The story of how the guy became the president-elect is so, so unique and interesting that is such a sensation their story is like inspiring all over the world right now and everybody's kind of giving them their flowers oh well done sonko well done Faye, well done these guys are this or that now then from nowhere all this uh sahel uh migranty the putajalon putasoro terroristy hibernating in Nigeria. One of them jumped into that conversation and said, yes, full and ruling class. Or more the Senegalese, no one here more. And they were just like, hey, 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 you retards. We don't do that here. All of you, all of you ethnic uh, uh, bigots, ethnic uh, this. And you know, I'm going to put some of their shots on the screen for you to see. It was uh, as I mean, it was hilarious, and at the same time, it was heartbreaking, like sad. All right, they said that Nigerians, the rest of the world knows that Nigerians are indeed eh, eh, ethnic champions. One second. Sorry about that. So the Nigerians are born bigots. And if Nigerians want to start their nonsense, uh, what do you call it? A bigotry, they shouldn't try it with them in Senegal. Number one, the guy is not Fulani. And number two, can you please just go to hell? Go back to your hell hole in Nigeria, where you are always fighting yourselves over who is supreme, who is not supreme. Okay. Mind you, this guy is not Fulani, and since the history of uh, Senegal, that they do have Fulanese in Senegal, okay? But your ethnic, your religion, and all of that is none of their priority in Senegal, West Africa. But the murderous uh, Fulani terrorists from Northern Nigeria, uh, and the Aronukus, Ronu Nazis, from Yoruba land, they jumped at it. Yeah, but uh, Shere, Shere, Shere people are also kind of full of need too. Yeah, the guys came, what is wrong with all these Nigerians? Your bigotry in your country that has kept you uh, sort of uh, down, divided, and kind of genocidal too. Don't bring that to us here in uh, Senegal. Like, I, I mean, come on, man. Who are these people? Eh? Or Makimak Maro. Shame, cash me a little bit. But at the same time, I kind of feel proud inside of me that 
So there are some African countries that all this tribal ethnic nonsense is none of their business. Wow. Hope who are them? Eh? Hope who are them? So that means all of us, we also, somehow, somehow, we do not believe in this ethnic, religious supremacy in the face of a burning, important issues. That means all of us are supposed to speak out now. I am speaking out now for all this uh, bigot, all this uh, jobless, miscreant, hateful souls, children of perdition from Yoruba land, trying to tarnish the image, trying to tarnish the good image of Yorubas. We are one of the most accommodating, if not the most accommodating uh, people in Nigeria, or the divided Nigeria of today. Yeah. Then we will be one of the most accommodating regions in Nigeria. But now, the APC, Egbekebe, and their bigotry. Eh? The APC, Egbekebe, and their bigotry. They are bringing that, they are bringing shame. They are bringing uh, embarrassment. They are bringing, you know, criminality. They are bringing all sort of a debt against that, uh, that name, Yoruba. So that is why you have to speak out. And I love it. I love it for them, the Senegalese. They did great. I felt proud of them. They were very clear. It was like the men they saw the, the, the tweet or so, they just called on themselves. Come and see Nigerians. Oh, they are about to start. Oh. One of these lunatics are claiming that this guy is full. And so that, I mean, he actually said the full and the ruling class in Africa. And I've told you something about this born to rule mentality that some of you born fools still sort of put in your head. You are born to suffer. You are born to what? To suffer. Suffer, giddy, till you die. You were not born to rule if you are from northern Nigeria. The ruling class or the ruining class they see you as the pawn on their chess table to start with. You are replaceable, okay? And you will never be missed if you have to die in the scheme of the things. So how dare you think because you are a Fulani, you are born to rule. Because you are a Usa, you are born to rule. You are telling yourself that you will be say they go use you count the number of the poorest and the most miserable people in Nigeria in 2030. You are here saying we are born to rule. I was, we will continue to rule all of you. Who are you ruling? In in all sense, I mean, like what has this rule benefited you? In all sincerity, and then all of you from the southern part of Nigeria, you take insult in that. Okay. Yeah? You are not born to rule us. We are, we are, God, God is, God has given us, you know, God, you know, and problem. Why are you troubling yourself? People from the poorest, poorest part of Nigeria, the poorest region of Nigeria, the region with the most out of school children, 22 million out of school children, the most terrorized region, the most displaced people in Nigeria. Somebody from that place, maybe say, if they talk to you from IDP camp, is telling you because it's full of me, we are born to rule, we will rule all over you. And you are angry with that, you are angry. Eh? You are typing and trying to explain to that one, check, check, are you all right? Eh? None of them is born to rule. Everybody is born to stop her. Not you, south you, east you, west you. Everyone in the contraption is born to suffer. Now, people could come to find their way, like that crab in that bucket. Hmm? You will see the egos. The egos will tell you there is no amount of anything that egos will suffer in this country. We are always going to find our way. That is somebody trying to make himself feel better. He is hustling, he is struggling, he is affected. Well, because he is ego, he believes it, you know. We can never suffer here. Any Igbo man that suffers is a lazy man because he believes it. 
Same thing with Tefulani. We say you, we have born to rule. We will rule all over you. This is somebody from the region that is most terrorized. Making himself feel better. When he is actually not better. So you see, all of these things, right, are things that have made you either believe that you are better than this one, we are better than that one. Ah, our own this is better. All this creation, I am happy that they don't exist in Senegal. And it did probably exist in Senegal. They are not as uh, uh, potent, as divisive, as destructive as they are in Nigeria. We are deluded people. Continue to ascribe some importance to themselves because of association. I am Igbo. I am Igbo. Okay, I am Igbo. Oh, I am Yoruba. I am Yoruba. Yoruba is like, you know, she will be here. So, yeah, we are. When they talk about the wealth of Yoruba land, eh? how much of it is helping, or how much of it is located to your family in Yoruba land? Eh? You are not looking, oh. And that is why when we see people who are indeed able to look beyond such primordial nonsense and take a look at where they say education, how many millions are affected by, by poor educational system? All of us, Yoruba, Igbo, Ausa, Fulani, Ijo, Ibibio, Ishekiri, Lupe, Tifi, Jukum, Berom, all of them from everywhere is affected. Oh, what about uh, uh, infrastructure? Now all of us, they suffer. What about unemployment and the rest of that? Everybody, you go see inside the unemployment bracket. Everyone they collect inside this contraption where all of us are victims. And if you cannot look beyond it, and you are still looking at we are better than you, eh? the Yorubas are just jealous of us. But for me and you, day here now, eh? I'm a Yoruba man, you be able, man. You are today, throughout today now, you have been busy with how you are going to make your life better. No be so. I've been busy with mine. Okay? You have been busy all morning. I don't know what time you are right now. Okay? Today is Sunday. A lot of you are preparing for tomorrow to start work. Taking care of your family, trying to get your business going, They're trying to do this or that. You are busy with your life. I am busy with mine. But the moment Nigeria comes to the point, eh? Now you say Yoruba has eight egos. When we are all busy with our lives here and there. But yet, the people that actually hate me and you, as Yoruba, as Igbo, they are the ones who are there. Eh? Calling themselves eh, the ruiners of Nigeria. They hate me and you. But you're saying that me hate you, or you hate me. Right? Yeah, these Igbo people hate Yoruba. We know that the Igbos hate Yoruba. They're always jealous of Yoruba. We know that the Yorubas are always jealous of Igbo. Yeah, we know that. Who is jealousy of who? In the whole scheme of things, nobody really has time for anybody. Let's be honest. Nobody really has time for anybody. But there are those who have lived their lives and they have been conditioned the same way to believe that as long as this Nigeria is concerned, I can never sit down with an Igbo man. Me too. I will never sit down with a Yoruba man. If I see a full animal and I see a snake, I will kill a full animal and I will let the snake go. In a contraption where all of us were forced together to be together, we do not want to be. In all honesty, we do not want to be. The problem is that uh, at the same time, it's like we do not want to be alone. Do you see the complication? The bottom line is this. I am not saying that you don't have your own phobia inside you. Okay? I have seen racists. You know, when you see people who are racists, and honestly speaking, if you meet racists, that you know, like, okay, the, this one is a racist racist bastard right sometimes when you sit down with a racist even you yourself go agree with racist and say you guys say this your racism is uh, understandable even though it's so bad and it is dark but with all this is what you just tell me right now eh i think uh, it's nice to meet you jerry mr racist i think your racism is, uh, is you have you have reasons for a racist okay Meanwhile, when you meet uh, those, eh, 
who are Nigerians, who are tribalists, ethnic bigots. Eh? If you now ask them, explain to me your bigotry. I want to understand your bigotry. I want to understand your hate. I want to understand your hate. Please tell me. It will shock you that majority of the this una uh, hatred towards one another, uh, this one versus that one that you do, they all lack substance. There is absolutely nothing. The most who think they are smart will tell you, "Hey, boy, it is it, it's your forefathers. It is your grandfathers who do." I say, well, "Okay, fine. My forefathers did something to you. Your forefathers, for me and you, day here now." So we have to continue the fight, Abi. And you are thinking you and I are the champions, the ethnic champions, the big ethnic, uh, uh, you know, the jingoists. While you and I are suffering from a country where, from a country where, I mean, we are suffering in a country where our own common patrimony, commonwealth, are being depleted right before our very eyes. But we have energy. We do not have energy to fight them. We have energy to say, ah, Igbo, this, Igbo, that, Yoruba, this, Yoruba, that. Listen to me, oh, I'm not trying to, I, I'm not trying to patronize any of you. I'm just trying to make you see something here. Okay? If the Senegalese say they do not, they do not entertain such, uh, you know, such thoughts when it comes to their national convo, in that uh, Senegal, so that if anybody is telling you that Senegalese are of the same people, do not listen to that. The Senegal, they also have more than, a, like, no joko, they have more than a 40 different uh, tribes and, eth excuse me, and ethnic nationalities in their country. Like you have in Nigeria, they do in uh, Senegal too. And that is why, when it comes to their national politics, according to these guys, eh, they do not want to know where you come from because they are not trying to elect a tribal chief or a local champion or, or, or what do you mean? You know, it's refreshing. It is. Hmm? So I'll still bring you all of that, okay? I couldn't get them up uh, earlier. But I'll get them up uh, another time, the same evening. So if you are watching me and your energy is so much about... Uh, uh, who is uh, supreme and who is not supreme, my own advice for you, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. When you know uh, that, uh, they say when it's, uh, when it's a quack like a duck, walk like a duck, uh, quack like a duck, then it is a duck. In a place where the bigots are doing bigot championship, a lot of you who knows that this is going to end badly for everyone. It's better that you start speaking out now. Honestly speaking, like I said, I was so impressed by the resoluteness, the unity of uh, this Senegalese in calling off uh, this uh, Fulani lunatic from Nigeria who do not have any ancestral linkage to Nigeria whatsoever. Sure you get. So I hope uh, that sort of uh, passes something to you, okay? So the other one there that we would have is going to be left uh, for the charts, all right? So it's going to be left uh, for the charts, which means that uh, I am going to leave the line open. And if you are really much uh, interested in uh, joining this combo, the number to call is right here on your screen. Use it. And when I get back, I will take some calls. Don't go anywhere yet. <laughs>
have a caller and um, because it is easter so let's have uh, a 90 minute chat tonight that is my first caller can you hear me by the way all hell biafra all hell do do all hell biafra all hell all do do bro how are you doing tonight i'm great i'm great how are you how's the family Hello, happy family. easter to you same to you man uh, 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 another, another. How can I say? Another classic, another banger. It's awesome. you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's looking good. The background is looking good. I like, I like what you're doing with the whole studio. I'm still pretty um, much working around a lot. You should wait for what I'm actually cooking. I'm cooking something. Okay. The will love it. Listen, listen. It's. Uh, I'm just. I'm very proud of you. I just love seeing how this thing is just morphing into something greater. You know, just right in front of our eyes, we're seeing it. You know, but um, yeah. Let's get straight to the point. Yeah. Um. Go for it, man. Yes. Uh, we all know that. Uh, that the logical banana republic of Nigeria is a failed state. Completely failed. Like there's nothing we can do about it. I mean. They don't even honor their own laws. <laughs> you could bring your own lawyer, you could bring whatever, whatever they say goes. You know, they could just change, make up their mind right there and then and then go. They, they don't even honor anything. And people need to wake up for it. To my Igbo people, they won it. But um, it's time you shine your eyes that your, Nigeria is not for you. Stop wasting your money, bring your money back home and develop your land. Get ready for Biafra. Biafra is coming. What's happening now is going to make you a believer for Biafra and Oduruwa and all the rest of them because it's not just the only Igbo people that's going to be going to feel this. So, you know, enough. Just wake up. Invest back home. Fix your road. Our road is terrible. You go to the east, you can't even drive through it. I felt sorry for my nephews when they went over, uh, went back home for Christmas. They said that they thought they were gonna die because the roads were just like, like they felt like like it was just so much gallop and quaver, like a bomb was dropped, and then there were trucks passing by them, looked like it was gonna tip over and fall on their car. Mm. So um, we need to wake up, people, and and just start fixing home. Fix home and go back home so you could be in peace. You know, look at all that hard-earned money, millions, billions, you know, all have gone to waste by someone, uh, another radical called Wike could just go and just tear things down. Mm. Or they're just using him to do the job, the dirty job that they want to do to the evil people and things like that. But um, it's high times that we just shine your eyes and, and stop being an idiot. Thanks, man. You know? Yeah, um, so the topic of um, Senegal, um, I mentioned to you before that um, I have a, a, one of my best friends is from Senegal. Indeed. And the father actually, yes, uh, used to, was one of the first ambassadors of uh, Senegal after the, uh, what do you call it, the independence. So he's well-versed in Senegal. And, yeah, and uh, I mean, he knows about Biafra in and out, and he could tell you. So that's how he is. He's very balanced. And he's been telling me things about this whole Fulani movement trying to, you know, take over the whole Africa and things like that. They themselves are now aware of what's going on. And I always tell her that you guys need to wake up and see what's going on. 